Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check a new racing quadcopter from AJRC, the Batman 220. After releasing an excellent 3 inch plug and play quadcopter, the XGB145, and also an excellent 2.5 inch quadcopter, the Hornet 120, AJRC entered the 5 inch game and now they released a 5 inch plug and play racer. The direct competition of this quadcopter is the Hawk 5, which is a quadcopter that I really like. And in this video, I'm going to go over the features of the Batman, show you how to set it up, and of course, head outdoors to see how it performs. Inside the package, we can first find the quadcopter itself. It is well protected inside this foam. We also get in this Pagoda antenna with an SMA connector. Since this is one of the first batches that were sent, I only got this antenna, but in your package, you're also going to get another dipole antenna with an MM6 connector. We also get in six Gemfan Flash 5042 propellers. A bag with extra screws for the motors and nylock nuts, some stickers, a velcro strap for the battery, and this very short user manual. The Batman 220 is a plug and play quadcopter, which means you will have to provide your own receiver. In order to connect the receiver, all you have to do is to use three out of these wires that are popping up from the top. The black wire is the ground, the red wire is the plus 5 volts, green is SBUS, yellow is PPM, and blue is DSMX. I'm going to use an FRSky RXSR receiver, so I'm just going to desolder the blue and yellow wires that are soldered to the DSMX and PPM pads on the flight controller. The Batman 220 is using the Titan Plus F460 stack. On the bottom of the stack, we can find a 60 ampere, 32 bit, 4 in 1 ESC. Then on the middle, an F4 flight controller. And on the top of the stack, we can find the GTX 585 VTX. It has a selectable output strength of 25, 100, 200, 400, and 600 milliwatt, and it also supports smart audio. I actually tested this VTX separately, and it performed quite well. As for motors, the Batman is using the HF2306 2450 kV motors. These motors are ready to be used with up to 5S Lightbar batteries, so even though the stack is compatible with 6S batteries, stick to 5S. It might be possible to fly it with 6S, but you are risking burning one of the motors, and I just don't think it's worth that risk. On the front, we can find the AJRC ELF camera, which is the oldest part in this build. Everything is new except the camera. It has a 600 TV line CCD sensor, and if you want to swap it to a different camera, which will probably be very advisable, you will need to get a micro FED camera with a 19 by 19 millimeters foam factor. On the top, you can find a female SMA antenna connector. As I mentioned before, in the newer version, it also comes with a dipole antenna with an MM6 connector. So if you want to keep your build more light, you can just swap this connector with an MM6 antenna. On the back, we can find this capacitor. This is a 1000 microfarad 35 capacitor. And of course, an XT60 connector for the battery. I recommend to add a zip tie and secure it to one of the arms because we want to prevent the battery pads from being ripped off in case of a crash. And finally, on the bottom, we can find this anti-skid battery rubber plate. The Batman 220 is featuring a stretched X design. The wheelbase is about 220 millimeters. The distance between the front two motors and also the back, of course is about 14 centimeters, and the distance between the front motors to the back motors is about 17.5 centimeters. In addition, the arms are interchangeable, so in case of a crash and if you break an arm, you won't need to replace the entire frame. They're also pretty thick. The thickness of each arm is about five millimeters, and the thickness of the top plate, as well as the other bottom plates, is about two millimeters. In terms of weight, the Batman weighs about 304 grams without the battery. So it's a little bit heavier than the Hawk 5 that weighs 287 grams. So the next thing I'm going to do is to attach an FRSky RXSR receiver. Then I'm going to go over beta flight configuration and head outdoors and test it with 3S, 4S and 5S batteries. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video and I'll see you in the end of it in order to give you my conclusion.
So overall, I think that AG RC got themselves another winner, just like the XGB145, which is one of my favorite train quadcopters. I'm also going to keep this one. In terms of performance, the motors really did great, and I really felt that I have tons of power, but these are very power-hungry motors, and you should expect about 3 minutes of flight time using 1300 mAh for s batteries. As you could see in the flight footage, I also measured the Batman top speed and it got to 127 km per hour using 5S battery. I actually thought it's going to do better than that, but maybe this GPS tracking system is not that accurate and I will need to run some more tests in order to give you a better result. The main downside of this quadcopter is its camera, just like the XGB145, which I had to use some hot glue in order to fix the camera. It happened to me also on this quadcopter and if you have it make sure to put some hot glue otherwise the lens is just going to wobble and you're going to see vibrations during flying so if you're going to put some hot glue it's going to prevent it. I don't think its performance is that bad but I think that AGRC should include other cameras from Runcom, Froxeer or Cadix because they're just going to do a better job than this camera and I don't think it's going to make the quadcopter more expensive. Just like they're using propellers from Gemfren and they're not manufacturing their own propellers, I think that they should do the same on the camera and they should concentrate on what they're doing best which is manufacturing electronics and also motors. In terms of pricing, the Batman 220 costs $300, which may sound a lot, but if you're going to combine all the parts together, you're going to get to over $300 and you're also getting a very high quality build. You will still need to add a receiver, which is not that hard. And if you're going to have problems adding a receiver, you're going to face bigger problems when you're going to crash your quadcopter because fixing the quadcopter is going to be a bigger issue. So the biggest question you're probably asking yourself is which quadcopter should you get? The Max Hawk 5 or the AGRC Batman 220? Unfortunately, I don't have a conclusive answer for you. If you're looking for a lightweight forest racer and you're not going to get too far with the quadcopter, probably the Emax Hawk 5 is going to be enough for you. It's also priced at $250 including the Air Sky receiver, whereas the Batman 220 is priced at $300 without the receiver. So about $65 of a difference can be substantial for many users. On the other side, if you're looking for a more powerful setup and you want to use 5S batteries, the Batman 220 is probably going to be a better choice for you. And in the future, if you want to upgrade to a 6S setup, it's going to be pretty easy because all you have to do is just to replace the motors. The F460 all-in-one stack supports 6S, but I recommend that before doing the upgrade, fly it with 5S, see if it's going to be powerful enough for you, and then maybe in the future you can upgrade the motors. In addition, the Batman 220 has a VTX with a maximum output strength of 600 millivolts and it also supports smart audio, whereas the maximum output strength of the VTX of the Emax Hawk 5 is 200 millivolts. So if you're looking for a better range, the Batman 220 is going to be better for you. I flew it at 200 millivolts without any problems for a few hundred meters. And in the next video you're about to see, I set it to 600 millivolts and I got to 500 meters without any issues. So you should take everything into consideration and then you should decide which quadcopter to get. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about the Batman 220, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye. Take me away better place yeah we could run away yeah we could go today just take me away where we all feel the same where we all feel okay where we all feel no pain yeah i don't want to stay down no more hit me with the pain and the stab as i grow turn up the mic gain as i grab what i know i want the right fame just to pass through my flow i want to teach masses like classes just out of practice so maybe you could pass this class call life we live and we die so we might as well try not only get by before you're in the sky i've been running long enough think it's time now for me to face it all every second going by i'm losing time now it's time to take it all i'm okay i'm okay yeah no pain, yeah, there's no pain, yeah. I'm okay, I'm okay, yeah. Yeah. I've been running long enough, think it's time now For me to face it all Every second going by, I'm losing time now It's time to take it on I've been running long enough, think it's time now For me to face it all Every second going by, I'm losing time now It's time to take it on Take verse, back 
to the curse Hit me where it hurts, everyone's the worst I only got myself, I don't need any help Already been through hell, I know that you could tell I only need a chance, I only need a plan I'm going all in and I'll do it cause I can Feel like you're falling, catch yourself with my hand I'll pull you back up till your feet feel the land yeah. These words, the verse, it hurts I work, rehearse, I purge the curse these words immerse my nerves I slur, reverse, then work, reverse Now I talk with intent, I talk to defend I talk to the world and I meant what I said I talk and I blend, a speech from a friend It's not about the life, it's what you do before it ends yeah. I've been running long enough, think it's time now For me to face it all Every second going by, I'm losing time now It's time to take it all I'm okay, I'm okay, yeah There's no pain, yeah, there's no pain yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been running long enough, think it's time now For me to face it all Every second going by, I'm losing time now It's time you take it on I've been running long enough, think it's time now For me to face it all Every second going by, I'm losing time now It's time you take it on